All right, hey team, welcome to our Thursday night call. It is September 3rd. We are officially in a new month, which is super, super exciting. Um, Debbie, can you hear me okay? You're kind of making a look on your face. Yeah, no, good, okay. Um, just wanna make sure I was sounding okay. Uh, new month, new things going on. I don't know if you guys heard the incentive for Success Club this month, but it's amazing. If you get Success Club 5, Beachbody is going to give you P90X, P90X2, and P90X Plus series, I think is what it was, which is amazing. It's over, it's $300 worth of workouts for helping three people. Like, this is the best Success Club prize I have seen hands down since I have become a coach. And I think others would agree with me. And I've been doing this for almost three years now. So this is an amazing price. Um, so get out there. Let's take Success Club 5 early on in the month. A lot of you were like last day of the month scrambling for your last two or three points. Let's not do that. Let's like lock it in. If you guys notice on the calendar, I always put it for the middle of the month. That should be your goal, to lock it in the middle of the month so the rest of the month you're helping your coaches hit Success Club 5 or you're helping your challengers reach their goals or you can worry about signing up new coaches. Um, Pio is 140 this month. The three-day refresh is 140 this month. And then Pio Kickstart is 180, I do believe. Stephanie, I don't know if you care, but you yell at me if I don't tell you. All we see is your forehead. <laughs> I got your back, Jack. Um, so those are the challenge packs that are on special this month. Pio is an amazing program. It's definitely something that everybody should try at least once. It's great for flexibility and all that fun stuff. Um, Coach Basics Phase 1 and 2 start on Monday. Yes, I know it's Labor Day, but we're starting on Monday. So if you are currently in the Phase 1 training and you are all caught up, I will ask if you want to go to Phase 2 starting Monday or if you want to go to the Emerald Phase, depending on what phase you want to go into. Um, and then if you did not join this last one, you can join us on Monday. Just shoot me a message and say, hey, Ashley, I want to join. Even if you've been a coach for two years now, if you just need to get back to the routine of things, if you want to see what the new training is all about. However, I'm very strict in this training. If you fall behind by three days, you're out. You have to post every day. So keep that in mind when you're going to join the training. I know life happens sometimes and things come up and I completely get it, but it's just one of these trainings that's so hard to catch up on if you fall behind just because of the stuff that you have to post every single day. Um, let's get to some recognition. I apologize. I did not make a board today. There's a lot going on in my life currently, hence why I'm like halfway asleep right now. Um, so I will get it going up tomorrow. Probably not. I probably won't make one. I'm not going to lie. I do apologize. But our top four coaches this for the past week were Stephanie Parks with 510 PV. Way to go, girl. Uh, Candice with 375. And then Allie, I'm not going to even try to about your last name. And Jennifer Merzlach that had 360. So way to go. They were our top four PV earners for the week. There are already quite a few of you on the Success Club board. I'm so proud. Um, we have Ashley Wetley, Melissa Russell, Stephanie Parks, Melissa Blatter, Danielle Rotolo, and Jennifer Merzlach. They already have two points. And Katrina Waters already has four points. She's just going to get Success Club six by, like, tomorrow. Like, I just sense it. Sense it. Um, last month was a great month. We had four rank-ups. Um, congratulations to Ashley Reba, who was our coach of the month. She did an amazing job last month. Her husband has joined her, and they are going to be a power couple. I already can tell. They're going to do a big, big things. So let's set some big goals for September. I had posted in the team page for some goals. I know only a couple of you commented. Um, some of you, I know you got goals. I need you guys to post because I can't keep you accountable if you're not posting. Think of those are my big announcements. So we are going to move on to the meat of the call let me just give a disclaimer. If you don't like talking about money, just log off now. If money offends you, log off now. If you're going to say, Ashley, all you care about is money, log off now. So I'm going to give you your chance to get take your out now. Don't come to me later on because I'm going to say, I warned you. I gave you a giant disclaimer before we started. So let me do a screen share real quick. And if Stephanie, maybe if you could just take yourself off mute real quick, that way you can let me know um, if you can see everything. Yep, I see it. All right, perfect. All right, guys. So tonight, we are talking about how to build residual income. I know. You know, so money is just like one of those things that people don't want to talk about. But at the end of the day, 
you're also a coach to earn some income. And if you are ashamed to admit that, then we need to talk. For the longest time, I always kept very quiet when it came to money because I would get stoned occasionally. Um, but I do care about helping people. And I have made an amazing income, an amazing business because I genuinely care about people. So that just may happen to me the first slide. So first and foremost, you have to care about want, you have to care about helping people. You have to be running challenge groups. You have to be wanting to help people reach their goals. I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. If you only care about the money, please send in your cancellation papers right now and quit coaching. I know that sounds harsh, but we want people who are motivated to do more for others. We want people who genuinely care about helping everybody. And I am almost 100% positive everybody on this team cares about helping other people. You also have to take care of yourself. You have to be using the products. You have to be doing the workouts. You have to be sharing your Shakeology. You have to be doing this stuff. Because at the end of the day, if you're not being a product of the product, other people are not going to come to you. If you are an inactive coach month after month after month and you want to build residual income, guess what? It's not going to happen because you're not an active coach because you're not getting Shakeology. You're not helping other people. You're not using the products. So if you're an inactive and you're listening to this call right now and be like, crap, I need to become active, shoot your coach and be like, what is Ashley talking about? Like, what does she mean? Uh, but if you're in this just for the money, you're with the wrong company. We are in the business of, we are not in the business of selling. We are in the business of sharing, inspiring, motivating, and letting other people know that they can do this. Zero. We all start from zero and you're gonna have to forgive me because I'm gonna take sips of my hot chocolate even though it's September because I'm freezing. We all start at zero. I start with zero customers. I started with no paycheck. I started with no volume. We all begin somewhere. And during this call, you guys are gonna hear a lot of me share numbers with you. I'm gonna be very personal and very, um, I don't know what the right word is. Visible? No, that's not visible. I don't know the word is. I'm transparent, is that the right word? Transparent, I'm gonna be transparent with you. Yeah, I have two people shaking their heads with me. So Ashley and Melissa are the only two people I can see. So you guys are gonna give me my sense of confirmation. Um, I started with zero customers. Two and a half years ago, I started about two and a half years ago, and I now have over 800 customers in my coach online office. So I started at zero, just like all of you. So you guys can do this. We're gonna talk about pyramid scheme real quick. I know this doesn't really kind of go into residual income, but it kind of does. And I think this is something we all need to master because you'll hear so many people be like, oh, this is a pyramid scheme. Do you know they're illegal? I just found that out yesterday. I had no idea. Pyramid schemes usually include a high startup cost. Beachbody really doesn't. I mean, if they want to get a challenge pack, that's on them. Other than that, it's $40 to join. Pyramid schemes, the sooner you join, you're gonna make more than those that join later. That's not true. I joined later than a lot of other people that are in the same team as us, like higher. And I may, may make, I may make more income than them. There are coaches that just signed up a year ago and make more than people that signed up five years ago. Pyramid schemes are usually get rich schemes. We got, you guys know Beachbody is not that way. We are not a get rich scheme. And usually they have no products. Hello, we have tons of products. We had products before coaching was even around. Like back in the day when like Tony Gordon was like 30 years old and like on the beach in Santa Monica, like filming in the sand, like old school production, that was around before coaching. We have no inventory. We have no high startup costs. We have no quotas. If you have a garage stocked with Shakeology, you're doing it wrong because you don't need to be. Like we don't have to send anything to anybody. Equal opportunity for anybody, regardless of when they join. And you build a found, not a foundation, a foundation. Clearly, I didn't do spell check. And you earn off of consistency. All right, so let's talk about cycle bonus. So like I said, we're going to talk about a lot of numbers. I'm going to be very transparent with you. Um, and I will open it up to any questions at the end. If you think of a question while we're going through this, please use the chat bar, and I will come back to it. So what is cycle bonus? Cycle bonus is money that Beachbody gives you for the growth of your team and those below you. You can only earn cycle bonus if you are an Emerald coach or higher. So you know how we talk about ranking up as soon as possible? That's because as soon as you rank to Emerald, you have now locked in the chance to earn cycle bonus and you also lock in to where you bank the team volume that you don't use. 
So, um, Stephanie, can you take yourself off mute real quick and just kind of share a ballpark figure of what you have banked for your um, cycle bonus or your team volume? Sorry. No, you're fine. Um, I think on my left leg, I have like 65 or 70,000 PV now. So, that's a lot. And that is why Stephanie, one of the main reasons, one of the, not the main reasons, but one of the reasons why she will never drop her emerald rank. Right, Stephanie? Correct. Okay. Thank you for letting me use you as an example. Thank you for letting me put you on the spot. <laughs> so, because, um, she doesn't use all of that volume it goes to a vault it goes to a bank and basically what happens is on payday each body's like oh stephanie has some stored money in her left leg i'm going to pull that and we're going to pay her out cycle bonus so i'm going to show you guys some example of cycle bonus because you'll understand it just a little bit better um so cycle bonus happens from any volume from the coaches below you on your left or right leg it rolls up to you so you know how when you're in your coach online office and it says um that you have so many new coaches in your organization. Those are coaches that have been placed below you and you're gonna get the volume from those coaches. So it's gonna roll up to you. Um, so for example, here on the slide, it shows like one leg has 700 and one leg has 315 volume. So when you divide it by the 200 to 100 ratio, cause that's what you need for volume or for cycle bonus, you're going to cycle three times. So if you're an Emerald coach, you're going to make $42. If you're a Ruby coach, you're going to make $48. If you're a Diamond coach, you're going to make $54. When you're Emerald, you make $14 per cycle. When you're Ruby, it's $16. And when you're Diamond, and eight, it's $18. Um, so this is where a lot of your paycheck will come from consistently every single week. We all want to sell the challenge packs and we all want his success club, which you do need to do in order to start building residual income. But you will not have residual income from selling a challenge pack every month, from selling a program once in a while. It comes from growing your team, ranking up, and earning more volume underneath you. So when I first started, we'll come to that slide in a second. When I first started, I was like, I'm not signing up coaches. Like, I want to keep that $32 of commission every month. In the chat box, how many by like a show of me, me, me have thought that before? Like, I don't want to sign up coaches because I want to keep that commission coming to me every month. At least one person admit it. Don't make me feel like I'm by myself now. Anybody? 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 No? No? Stephanie's raising her hand. Okay. There we go. Yay, one person. I think it was Ashley. Thank you, Ashley and Stephanie. Um, so that's how it was. I was like, I'm not signing up coaches. Like, I want to keep that $32 a month. Man, was I a dumb dumb back then. I should have been like, no, I need to sign up these coaches. Like, not only do I want to help build my team, but that volume is going to come into so much more of a play than that $32 is later on in life. Because now I make more, way more than the $32 in commission because I've got that constant volume coming in. So I'm going to give some numbers to you guys. Like I said, I'm going to be very, very transparent. These numbers are from January to August. So January to August. And remember, this will not happen overnight. This is through consistency. So in 2013, in my first CBC in total for the year, I made $452 off cycle bonus. So that was January to August. That was it, $452. In 2014, combined between our two business accounts, we made $5,401 from cycle bonus, again, just in January to August. Now let's jump to 2015, and if any of you guys know, from 2014 to 2015, our team took off like none other. We went from seven coaches to over 270 coaches currently. To date, from January to August, we have made nearly $17,000 just in cycle bonus. You guys kind of understanding the big picture of cycle bonus now? Like, do you understand like why we talk about it so much? And I know this may not be like a fun topic to talk about, but I feel like it's so important for those that want to build their business. Um, so if I would have kept going down the road I was on and be like, I'm not signing up coaches. I'm not inviting. I'm just going to keep selling my challenge pack here and there. I would be right where I was in 2014. I went to school for human services. And if any of you guys know, it's along the lines of social work and after taxes, you make, if you're lucky, about $20,000 a year. In eight months, I've made almost that just in cycle bonus because our team is growing, because we are helping people, because I am engaging with my coaches, because my coaches are growing. Um, 
So here's an example of what cycle bonus looks like. And I promise we'll get to more meat of the conversation and like how you can grow your cycle bonus. But we have to go over this stuff first. So when you go into your coach online office, it always says left leg, right leg. Um, so it'll show you numbers. So these, this was my volume last night before um, it started all over for today. So I had 4,300 on one leg and 4,600 on the other leg. So I pretty much had an even amount of cycle bonus. Whatever you don't use, like I said, it goes to the secret vault and it stays there until you have enough to cycle. If you drop from Emerald, you lose all of that volume. I want you guys to think of team volume as money. I have had coaches drop who had thousands upon thousands upon thousands of cycle bonus stored and lost thousands of dollars in cycle bonus. So think of like you like having this bank account and you just kind of forgot about it or you just kind of kept overdrafting it or you closed it. I really don't know what analogy I'm going to go with, but you guys get the gist. Don't drop your rank once you get there. Just don't do it. Lock it in and stay there. I can honestly say since I ranked up on April 4th, 2013 Emerald, I have never once dropped my Emerald rank. Not once. Same with my husband. He's never dropped his Emerald. My second CBC has never dropped its Emerald. It's very important that you keep your rank for cycle bonus. Whoopsies. Um, so maxing out, let's talk about this and then we're going to talk into how you can grow your cycle bonus. So we've heard people say like, you can be an Emerald coach and make more than diamonds or two star diamonds. I like to nip that in the bud and say no. See, once um, every week, if you're an Emerald coach, you max out at 250 in cycle bonus. So if I was an Emerald coach, I would have missed out an extra $340 in my paycheck this week, just in my first business center. My husband would have missed out on an extra 200 and my second CBC would have missed out on nothing. Just kidding. So we would have missed out on almost nearly $600 because we would have just been Emerald coaches. So the higher up in rank, the more you can potentially make every single week in cycle bonus. So this like kind of shows you like, so if you're Emerald, you can make 250 a week, then you're maxed out. At Ruby, 1,000, Emerald, 2,000, it keeps going up. Um, so if you want consistent res residual income, you're going to have to grow your team. You're going to have to rank up. So if you are not an Emerald coach, at the end of this call, I need you to write down what your Emerald date is, and I need you to post it in the team page for accountability. If you are an Emerald coach, at the end of this call, I want you to post in the team page what your diamond date is. If you are my diamond coaches, I want you to post when your star diamond date is. Goal dates. So this is why we have goals. Like they, We need to say them out loud so we can talk about them. Um, I can honestly say when I became a diamond coach, my income increased almost 300%. And you can see that from the numbers off my cycle bonus. Um, so yes, you can be Emerald and still earn cycle bonus, but you will eventually max out. It will happen. So let's talk about how you can grow it. Let's like talk about the fun stuff, if this is even fun. Um, so how can you grow? Well, guess what? Three vital behaviors every day. I know we talk about these so much, but I feel like maybe if we ingrain them in everybody's heads, we'll start doing them every day. So that means you have to show up and invite every single day. And I posted in the team page um, last night. I had the opportunity to be on a call with Jen Sincero, who is the author of You're a Badass. And she gave, said, like, if you want to build habits, you got to do the same thing, repetition every day, day after day. So that means inviting two to three people every single day until it becomes such a habit that you don't even think about it anymore. That means getting success club every single month. I can honestly say I have hit success club 18 months in a row, 18 months. It is a no ands, ifs, or but for me. Um, and when I wasn't hitting success club, my checks were pretty much non-existent because I wasn't getting volume. I wasn't adding coaches. I wasn't growing my team. I wasn't working on the business. You have to be a product of the product. We've all been there. We've all had funks. Um, I can honestly say when I'm not working out, my business is declining. And I'm pretty sure almost every single one of you can absolutely positively agree with me. That's why I do these challenge groups for the team. That's why I do these challenge groups for the team. That's like my only point that I had going for that one. And personal development. You guys know I used to hate it. Like I was like, I don't need it. I love it. And I like honestly can say I haven't done it in a while because I there is no because. I just don't have an excuse. And I can tell I'm not doing it. So you have to do these three vital behaviors every day. And you're like, Ashley, how is this going to help cycle bonus? Because it's going to help your business grow. It's going to help your team grow. You have to be consistent. You guys know that's my favorite word. You have to be. You have to invite every day. And if you're not inviting every day, you're going to set your business back like 10 steps the wrong way. 
I know when writing is scary and you're like, I don't want to do it. I'll just make it happen when I happen. If you're going to have that mindset, then you have to be okay that your business is going to grow very slowly. And you, if you're okay with that, that's great. But you have to own that and you have to accept that. And I don't want to hear from you being like, Ashley, my business isn't going the right way because I'm be like, how many people do you invite a day? And if you tell me like one a week, I'm be like, well, ding, 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 ding. Like, there you go. Cycle bonus grows from adding new coaches, which equals inviting. Why do you think I had that challenge last night to my personally sponsored coaches? I challenge you to invite 100 new coaches, and a lot of you, I think like 16 of you, like took the challenge with me. We have to be inviting. We have to be adding. We have to be doing these vital behaviors day in and day out. And you can't just hit Emerald, sign up a coach, and think you're going to start a cycle bonusing. That is not how it works. You have to get your coaches started right. And I know for a lot of you, your new coaches, and you're like, I don't even know how to get them started right. That's where you lean on your upline. That's where you go to Stephanie. It's where you go to Carl. That's where you go to Lindsay Sessions. That's where you go to me, Emily, Brittany. You go to your upline and be like, look, I have a new coach. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Can you please help me? I cannot tell you how many times I have jumped on a call and done a getting started right call with the coach that they signed up so that they can learn. We do these trainings collectively as a team. That way you can also learn as you're going and so you can learn what to do with your coaches. You have to make sure they're on the team calls. You have to get them on the new coach calls. You have to get them on the training calls. You have to check in with them. You can't just sign up a coach and be like, hey, I'm good. See you later. I'm going to start cycle bonusing off of you. No, because what's going to happen? They're going to go inactive, and they're not going to do anything with the business. You can't just leave them. It's like, I can't think of analogies tonight. I'm like exhausted. I just can't do it. But you can't just leave them off on the side of the road and be like, bye, see you later. Come catch up with us when you're ready. No, you have to get them started right. If your coaches are growing, your team is growing, which means your volume is growing. I can't, I just can't stress it, much, stress it enough how important it is to get your coaches started right. You just, you have to. That needs to be your priority. That means you need to be on the phone with them as soon as they sign up or start messaging with them or get them in a new training or have them do the new coach basics that we're doing. It's so vital, not only for them to succeed, but again, for your team to grow. Let's talk about placement. So placement is a big deal when it comes to cycle bonus. If you do not understand the legs and how they work, you need to message me. I feel like I'm probably like one of the masters on the team when it comes to understanding legs. And I will do a Zoom chat with you and I will explain to you the weak leg versus the strong leg. Placement is crucial when it comes to growing your team and your cycle bonus. Why? Because, okay, so for your strong leg, for example, I'm going to use Stephanie because she's the one of the few faces I can see. Stephanie is on the right leg. That is her strong leg. So Stephanie is almost on the top of my right leg, which has a ton of volume rolling up. So that means any coach that signs up on that right leg, the volume is going to sign so roll up to Stephanie. So for example, um, I'm trying to think, Vicky and Jasmine are on our right leg. So if Vicky or Jasmine sell a challenge pack or sell Shakeology HD, that volume is going to roll up to Stephanie. Now, Stephanie's weak leg is her left leg. She has to grow that left leg, which means her coaches also have to add for that left leg to grow. You are essentially in charge of growing your weak leg. That is why it's so crucial to understand how the legs work because you're going to have to put strong coaches on that leg. That way, you can start cycle bonusing. So again, if you do not understand legs, star, asterisk it, put a giant X around it, Message me and we will do a Zoom chat about legs. I can even do like a group Zoom chat one night and we can talk about legs if that's easier. Okay, the other thing I want to talk about is matching bonus. Matching bonus is when you're a diamond. Uh, so I learned today, it can actually be when you're Ruby too. I had no idea. But when you're Ruby, you earn 5%. And when you're diamond, you earn 10% of what your emeralds and above make from cycle bonus. So for example, I have three coach accounts. I have my first CBC, which is like me, hello, right here. I have my husband, and then I have my second CBC. When you become a two-star diamond, you get to duplicate yourself. You basically get to open up a new franchise, which is amazing. So if my husband, for example, this week, I think he made like $340 off cycle bonus. Well, guess what? I earned $34 off of it because I'm his upline coach, so I double dipped. My second CBC made $90 this week in cycle bonus, so I earned an additional $9 from that CBC, so I'm double dipping, um, which I gave the example right here, which is where I got my numbers from, clearly. So in 2013, I made $5.60 for matching bonus. Like, whoop like I'm going to go buy a Starbucks, like, 
pumpkin spice latte, even though I really don't like them. Like that's what my five dollars and sixty cents would have bought me. Like, thank you. 2014, I made $198.90. I don't know what that would have paid for. It would have paid for something. Credit card bill, maybe? I don't know. In 2015, to remind you, these are just January to August. I have already made $850 off cycle bonus or off matching bonus. So basically, the more emeralds you start to grow in your downline and the more they rank up and the more you work with them and the more they grow, it gives you more opportunity to earn money within Beachbody. Um, I think, yeah. I'm going to take it off screen share. There's a couple slides I didn't do. There's other ways to earn um, income, residual income within Beachbody as well. Like when you're a two-star diamond, you can get a quarterly bonus. Um, if you're five-star and above, but I don't want to get into all that fun stuff. I really just wanted to focus on cycle bonus and how important it is to rank up and to constantly be growing your team as well as mentoring your coaches. And I know money is like this weird thing that people don't like to talk about, but I genuinely care about helping people because if I didn't, I would not be where I'm at today. I would not have earned what I would have made in a year working in social work than what I made in the first six months of the year. Like I, it's because I genuinely care about helping people. Um, does this help? Like, does this help anybody understand like, understand how to grow better. Does anybody have any questions? I know this can be kind of confusing. I know this is like the most exciting phone call ever, but I feel like this is a topic that we have to talk about, especially my business building coaches. Um, so I want to open up for any questions. If you're on your cell phone, you're going to have to text me and tell me to open it up to you because I have you guys on mute because I get really bad background and I know you guys don't like asking questions. So for the love of goodness, somebody please talk. Somebody, anybody. Yep. Okay. Cool. Awesome. You guys are killing me. Oh, is that Layla taking herself off mute? Yes. Yeah. You don't, you don't happen to have like, um, what the bonuses are at the different rates. I know. I, I don't know if you had posted it before, it but changes. Um, it actually I remember changes. Seeing something. It changes. So for example, um, the first time I got my two star bonus, it was $900. Five star, five, okay, okay. So when you're a two star, you get the two star bonus. So I got my nine hundred and like eighty dollars. If you're a five star, you get the five star and the two star bonus. So five star was three thousand plus they got the nine hundred and fifty. Ten star gets another bonus. So the ten star gets the the ten, the five, and the two, and the ten star was thirteen thousand dollars, and then the fifteen star was thirty three thousand dollars, and the fifteen star gets all of them. So it's also another reason why you want to work on building diamonds underneath you as well. Does that answer your question, Layla? Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'll speak. Yay! Look like hell because I literally just got done running and took a shower. Like it's okay. I have like bags under my eyes. But um. I just wanted to say this to other people, like, if you get overwhelmed for rights, because everyone keeps saying they don't understand them, um, even me, little old me, like, still has to message Ashley and, like, ask her where to put people, but um, some of my other teammates, like, criticized me because when we were all, like, ranking up to Diamond, I was, like, busy stacking my legs because I wanted to start making cycle bonus, so... I was more motivated by the cycle bonus than ranking up to diamond. So it's kind of like whatever your business strategy is too, because looking back, I could have ranked up like three months sooner if I wouldn't have been focused so much on the bonus. So to each their own, I suppose my, my point of that story is. No, and I agree. And I think like you have to decide, and I think even like, it's like you decide you, ooh, hey. Do you want cycle bonus more or do you want diamond more? And I think you can have them both at the same time because also at diamond, you're going to make $4 more per cycle bonus. And you may not think it adds up, but it really does. Like when I look at mine, I'm like, eek, if I would have been emerald, like I would have made half of what I made for the week. Um, and it seems like a lot of you want a thing about legs. Maybe we can set up a time to do a call at night. I can do like a, just like a little get together and we can talk about legs a little bit more probably be better than doing it one-on-one. -on -one. But like Stephanie said, Stephanie will kind of be like, where should I put this person? I'm like, not where you put them. Let's move. So you can come to me too and be like, Ashley, where should I put this person? Because I get legs. I studied them like none other when I first signed up. 
and after you place them, you have five business days where you can move them. So if you place them somewhere and you're not sure, then you can ask your upline and you can move them. And then one more point too, like if you sign your spouse up to be a coach, which if you have the business, you should. And then you can kind of double dip like Ashley saying, like when you have a customer come to you that wants to like just buy the program without the challenge pack, or you've already reached your SC goal for the month, place their order through your spouse. Or like if you have things that you want to order, place that through your spouse, and then you can kind of double dip and get that bonus too. I I completely forgot about that. Thank you, Stephanie, for bringing it up. That makes a great point. So when I first signed up, I signed up my husband as a coach right away to hit Emerald, and I made the dumbest mistake in the world by canceling his account. He would have been at the very top of my organization. I was like, I don't need him. Dumbest move ever. So I re-signed him up. I locked him into Emerald the same day I signed him up, and now he's one of my diamond coaches. He's going to be a star diamond here pretty soon. Um, and it may not make sense for you right away to start building your husband's account, but if you are serious about this hundred percent, sign your spouse up. Um, we never order anything underneath my husband. If I do, it's because like we're running low on Shakeology or something. Um, I get myself to success club 10. I give the rest to him. If somebody orders, like Stephanie said, Pio, it goes underneath him. I've never had to buy something underneath him to stay active. And even if you are not at that point yet, it's worth, in my opinion, paying the $16 a month just to keep them at the top of your organization because what's going to happen later on is you're eventually going to make them an Emerald coach. So that way, again, you can double dip. I'm double dipping with my husband. Cycle bonus goes to him. It rolls up to me. I get matching bonus from his cycle bonus, and we're making dual income. Um, it's a very smart decision to do it right away if you're very serious about this, and I know was it em Emily? Is Emily on the call? Did she disappear on me? She left me. How dare her? Oh, no. She, there she is. Um, I remember Emily came to me, Emily Albrico, and she's like, all right, when should I sign up, Mike? And I'm like, I'm about to sign up four coaches. They're all going on the same leg. So you need to sign up Mike now because he's going to have people underneath him for volume. So it's a very, very smart move. And I know a lot of people on this call do have their husbands um, signed up already. Ashley does, Stephanie does, Emily, Jamie, um, Debbie, Layla. I can't see who else is on. So thank you for reminding me of that point, Stephanie. Anybody have any questions about cycle bonus, matching bonus, anything about the business? Now is your chance, your opportunity. We have got to do an icebreaker or something to get you guys more chatty like this. Come on. It's like pulling teeth. No one, no one. Ashley, yes. I don't have any questions right now, but Emily and I are going camping this weekend, so I just wanted to say hi. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. Okay, hey, I'll take it. I'll take any type of communication right about now. <laughs> I have been sick all week, and let me tell you how good Pio makes you feel when you are sick. Oh, I bet. It just loosens everything. It was I haven't done Pio in so long. We're in the middle of T25, and thanks to life right now, we are, like, really screwing up our beta phase. But I, like, I didn't get to work out today. I was like, oh, I miss it already. And it's just been one day. <laughs> the thought of doing any jumping makes me want to vomit on my computer right now. <laughs> you stick to Pio. You stick to Pio. Yeah. Well, I had a question that um, – this is Megan – um, hi, so I'm waiting. Can you see? I'm I'm sitting in my car. Um, so, for this is my first um, month of really making any income, and I noticed something on my um, office or whatever it's called that said maybe a team points or t I got money that said team in front of it. What did that mean? I would have to see it. Can you send me a screenshot okay. later in a message and I can let you know? Okay. I, uh, yeah, it was, okay, yes. Yes, I can. Yeah, because I'd have to see it I can't think of it off the top of my head. Okay. So there's no income that says team in front of it, or do they all say team in front of it? I think a couple of them say team in front of it, so I can't, that's why I'd have to see it to know. Okay. Well, it was a surprise. 
but definitely it's going to make me work as hard um, this month as I did last month. <laughs> you did awesome last month. So yes. Yeah. Just send me a screenshot of it and I'll let you know what it is. Okay. That was my question. Perfect. Emily, I'm reading your question. It's a way to go into how much money we make on commissions and signing up new coaches. It's the same thing as if you sell a challenge pack. So if a coach signs up with a challenge pack, you're going to say make the same commission you would make off of a challenger buying a challenge pack. Um, so if somebody buys a $140 challenge pack, you're going to get 40. If somebody buys 160, you're going to get 50, 180, you're going to get 60 and so on. Um, if they don't buy a challenge pack, you don't get any commission. It's just the same thing as if they were buying a challenge pack. Different name. Yeah. Good fast start bonus. It's like a fast start. fast start bonus is what it says on your paycheck instead of like in your commissions if you're signing up a coach. Yes, yeah, so Holly, if somebody does buy a program, you get commission. You get 25% uh, of any sale that goes through you. Yeah, so to answer whoever iPhone is, yeah. They buy a program, you make the 25% commission. Challenge packs are just a little bit different. You still make, com you make commission on every sale that goes through you. All right, guys. Well, I won't keep you guys. Nobody wants to talk to me except for Stephanie and Ashley and Megan. Um, I will say on the call at the end of the evening, I don't know what our topic is next week to be determined. And the week of the 17th, Lindsay Sessions is hosting the call and going to be talking about on how to build your dream team. Um, don't forget the new coach training starts on Monday. And I will see you guys all next week.